and had also spent some time studying abroad in Ireland. Aside from being the fearless leader of the class of 2019, she's a passionate advocate and a loyal and caring friend and just all around wonderful person. Please everybody welcome Elise. If 
If there is a doctor on board, please present yourself. Luckily, I was not yet a doctor, so I simply returned to watching my very engrossing documentary and opened a bag of pretzels. However, 15 minutes later, my luck took a turn. A more panicked voice emerged over the loudspeaker, this time saying, ladies and gentlemen, if there's anyone on board with any form of medical training, please step forward. Well, then I knew I was in trouble. You see, I've completed all my MAC dots and my IP credits, so I knew that I had some medical training. It was in that moment that I had to face a challenging decision. I was returning from the second round of CARMS interviews, feeling extremely defeated. I felt unworthy and unsure if I was up to the task. Now, Mac has trained me to know that it is better to do things as a team. So the poor, unsuspecting second-year medical student who I chatted with in line, as I often do, was rudely awoken from his lovely nap. As I groggily approached the patient, I found worried flight attendants and an elderly lady who appeared to be quite unwell. I asked the question many of us have asked in our white coats, usually on Oski Day, may I have the vitals? <laughs> the flight attendants looked and the poor unsuspecting second year medical student said, I don't think they can do that here. What I will have you know, in case any of you find yourselves in this situation, is that every plane is equipped with a manual blood pressure. However, what I will warn you is that although McMaster has trained us for many things, it has not trained us to take a manual BP over the sound of a jet engine. <laughs> the next thing I did was something that many of us have done throughout our clerkship. I begged the flight attendant to find me a nurse. Luckily, there was an RPN on board, and although initially she was very hesitant that her experience in a nursing home would not be helpful, she ended up being instrumental, which was yet again a reminder for me that we do not exist on an island. And more often than not, it is one of our interprofessional colleagues or one of our unsuspecting colleagues that will help us in times of real trouble. Luckily, with some oxygen and reassurance, the patient improved. However, it was quite a surreal experience to have the flight attendant ask me and a second year medical student whether they needed to land the plane. <laughs> with our training, there may be times we are afraid. May I rephrase that? There may be times we are absolutely so terrified that we are shaking as we try to listen to someone's heart. And the person beside them might say, are you okay? When we are faced with our duties as a resident or staff physician, we may also still feel afraid. And that is not only normal, but I would argue it is imperative as it reminds us to be constantly aware of the gravity of the responsibility we hold with the title of physician or airplane passenger. We are embarking into a career that involves stepping forward to help those in need even when it feels daunting, even when it feels inconvenient, even when you are so close to figuring out what the truth of a documentary is that you have to tear yourself away to help. And that is a pretty incredible privilege. During clerkship, while on electives, I had an experience that many people have had. When I would tell other students that I was from McMaster, I would often hear the comment of refrain, you guys are so nice. Although it was nice to hear, I felt that it didn't do us justice. I reflected on our class. I felt so lucky to get to know the spirit of our class and the things that make us unique. Our class started in 2016 with people from a variety of backgrounds. People with master's degrees, people with careers, people with children, that's incredible. We came together all from varying backgrounds, a variety of opinions, and widely different personalities. But the one thing I know to be true about our class is that the spirit has always been one of kindness. 
It has also been one of a ferocity that I can only chalk up to passion. We are strong advocates for causes we believe in. We are creative innovators driven to do things differently, even when it seems unfamiliar. And we are team players who recognize the value in supporting our colleagues. Although today will not be the traditional day for me as I will not graduate with the class, it resonates for me that my class still gave me the honor to stand before you today to speak about what this journey has been like. Mm -hmm. ones that we can draw on for a whole career. I hope we all have many flights together where we can help a sick patient. As we disperse across the country for the next stages of our learning, let's not forget that we are McMaster Medicine graduates and that is something to be incredibly proud of. Thank you. <laughs> 